I'm Colton Stowe. Um, this is Elizabeth Stowe, and, and our baby girl is Amber Lee Stowe. And uh, we're relatively a young couple um, in our mid twenties here, and we uh, recently got married about two two years ago now. And we're in the Air Force, so we move around a lot. Of course, this is our second base, and uh, we got here about December 2019. Um, and so yeah, we were just excited to, to be at Alpine and and to be on this faith journey and continue on. And uh, I am currently a kindergarten teacher, so that is my career as an elementary teacher. And of course, God blessed us with this little one. She's about seven months old. Well, um, I have always found it um, very important to put God first in our lives and Growing up, we were kind of the 90s babies, the generation of baptizing babies. So um, while I was a child, I thought that was fine and everything. And as I got into adulthood and the more I attended church as an adult, um, I came to find that the Lord got baptized as an adult to represent how He wants us to do it. So I found it important to get it done as an adult, not just for myself, but to set an example for my child and future children to show them um, how to symbolize uh, the rebirth of our soul to follow Jesus as our seekers. Starting from early childhood, um, you know, I was very blessed to have you know, parents that, that were Christians and, and slowly integrated me into church and, and understanding who Jesus is. Um, I don't think it was really though until until college I started to, or really maybe in senior year of high school, I really started, you know, being more involved in my faith and, and, and praying and, and asking and, and and looking for the right path that would suit me in my life. And and ever since I got on this you know, path to go to the Air Force and serve in the Air Force, it's it's been absolutely everything I've ever wanted. And the school that I got into was really tough to get into. At first, I didn't get in, and I prayed so much about it. And I know, you know, it's just very heavy on my heart that this is what I wanted. And I, you know, prayed so hard that I would get into it. And God found a window for me and helped me get in. And, and I saw signs while I was getting in. It was just amazing. So I think just all throughout my journey and my experience with, with uh, Christ, I, I've gotten everything I've ever wanted with my wife, finding someone who I love who is another Christian um, and yeah so finding her and, and being able to raise a Christian family and someone who has the same values and same strides for for our lives and, and raising children in, in God's name is something that's been very special to me and I, I see it through, through her. I see God's love oh man my favorite has always been Philippians 4.13. I can't even remember when that impacted me. I just know how much it's impacted me um, living my, my life through Christ. Um, so of course the quote is to live, do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And um, I think that's so important to keep the Lord in everything that we do, and including our daily lives. And um, I found that to always be foundation of my life and mine is the psalm 27 1 um, so the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall i be afraid that one i think just growing up just uh, i've always been fearful of taking chances in my life and um, i think that quote was just an instrument for my life not to not to face fear and be afraid, but, but to face it with God and know that God is in God's hands at all times. I think the biggest thing for me whenever you're deciding whether or not you want to follow Jesus is um, before you decide to follow the Lord, life has a lot of really hard and bumpy roads, but I promise that when you decide to follow the Lord, it will smooth out. So you have all of these questions and uncertainties and um, emotionally you can have some really low lows, but as long as you have that foundation of your faith and 
you remember Jesus loves you unconditionally, your life will become new, will become a path worth living, and um, He can bring such beautiful blessings and miracles into your lives, including things like children. I would, uh, you know, especially someone who's questioning or has a, a consideration of, you know, finding Jesus and wanting to know more. I think I would, I would definitely want to help them find that that base foundation and give them, you know, the answers that they're wanting to seek. Not through me necessarily, of course, but I would help guide them, get them to, you know, mentors who, who know Christ or pastors that know Pastor John, and um, you know, help them find those answers and see if, you know. What, what, what they're hearing appeals to them and, and hopefully God will, will show himself in, in that way and make it happen.